Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video, and I know it's going to be a quick video because I have to leave soon, but here are the things that you'll experience in hell if you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and if you don't accept this free gift, that's basically a squish free gift of salvation, and basically, if you don't really accept Jesus, or choose Jesus other than choosing sin. So if you really don't choose Jesus, this is what you're going to go through. There's going to be darkness beyond darkness. There's going to be torment beyond torment, which is pain and fire. There's going to be fire that is really huge. There's going to be cages where you're going to stay forever. You got your home. And um, there's going to be demons that are hor horrific, beyond being horrific. There's going to be worms that eat you and they're going to stay alive. You're going to be pretty much dead, a skeleton, not be able to breathe, and all that. And you're, you're going to be separated from God forever. So this is why everyone has to choose Christ. This is why everyone has to choose Jesus, other than sin, because this world is basically sin. All this world is, is a yearning without Christ, is really yearning for sin. Because without Christ, you're pretty much doomed for hell. And, even worse, sin leads to death. Sin leads to hellfire. And there's a lot of things that leads to hellfire that is sinful. But only one thing that leads to heaven. His name is Jesus. Choose Jesus other than sin. Believe that he has taken that on the cross. All of your sin, no matter what. Past, present, and future. Also, call to him and say, Jesus, I accept your free gift of salvation. By that way, you are forever saved. Because hell is a horrific place. More horrific than you can imagine. A place of flames, a place of, a place of fire, a place of heat that is intolerable to any human being. It's so horrible that it's just, it's, it's, it's beyond extreme. Not only that, it's just pain and suffering beyond pain and suffering. And if you're wanting, if you want to know what a minor demon looks like, I mean, this is like a monster demon. But this is not as scary as demons can get. I'm going to have to um, make my video a little bit more memory-wise. But, you know, here's what the demons really look like. This is what demons look like. And yes, they are scary. They are twisted. They are just... They're just things that are, that are mentioned in the Bible that are truly there. And if you want to do, if you want to talk about twisted, demons create things in a twisted way. Their own bodies, the worms, even. There are twisted things that they do that you cannot comprehend. A dragon with seven heads, with one horn on each head, or two on each head. Many mixings of the bodies, or many scary demons with sunken in eyes and um, or no eyes and foul mouths scary mouths or they're just like no body but a skin like you just saw those are the real demons some of them are you know warriors those are not scary but they're just Twisted bodies. Some of them are monsters that are meant to scare you, like I saw. Probably they're probably worse than that. Some of them are just truly, I mean, truly strong to really carry you, like like a tissue box. Not just throw you like a tissue box, but like throw you like a small stone against the wall where your bones break, where you don't have bones. 
but spiritually, it hurts beyond hurt. You're supposed to die in by no breathing, by sulfur, and all that. Everything in hell is death. That's where your second death is. So I have a, I have basically expired the time, but choose Jesus rather than sin. Hell is real. And I just gave you an example. Um, I'm going to make my video a bit more lengthy, but I, this is an example of how horrible hell is. Look at this minor demon. Look at this minor demon. Isn't it? Isn't it just a scary demon with just the formed face and teeth inside his mouth like that? Hell is real. Jesus, Jesus. That's probably going to be the name of the video. But anyway, I'll be done. Okay. Bye.